Hello guys, this is Ansab and you are watching Nardi Ansab YouTube channel. So in this video we will see how you can uh, run more than one website on Zem web server. So uh, this is my another video on Zem web server course on Windows and I have showed you how you can uh, run a free um, website and uh, install SSL on them. So now I will be telling you how you can configure more than one, websi one website with SSL. So in this video we will see how you can configure more than one website and another video we will see how you can install SSL on it. So for this video you need to see my previous uh, videos like the third video, third and fourth video of this course. So that you can uh, see how I have uh, done, uh, I, how I have configured first website. So let's see how to do this. So before going you can see that uh, uh, my uh, website is nerdyunsub.tk which is only website running uh, currently on this uh, server but now I will be running uh, uh, more than one website. So first close this XM control panel just close this and now uh, you need to go to free gnome. So go to freenom.com uh, f r e e n o m dot c o m from where you can register uh, free uh, some uh, free domains and now uh, uh, login with your account is just simple just click on sign in here and just uh, create a free account and then after that go to services and uh, click on register a new domain and from there just uh, choose a new domain just type like new nerdy just I am writing new nerdy and I am selecting new nerdy dot tk so click on get it now and proceed to checkout and after that just uh, select the time period so I am selecting it for 12 months it is free for 12 months and then click on continue here and after that just click on I have read and agree to terms and condition and click on complete order and now uh, click on services and go to my domains and uh, from there you can see uh, this is my new nerdy.tk which I have registered it now and nerdyunsub.tk is uh, uh, my uh, another domain which I am currently using on my uh, uh, local host so first uh, see the configurations of my old uh, domain just click on manage domain and after that click on manage freenom DNS so you can see here the DNS which I have set is 127.0.0.2 you know that uh, 0.1 is our IP address of our local host so I have uh, configured it to 0 0.2 and www is also 2127.0.2 uh, so for uh, our new nerdy we need to configure this and uh, I will be configure, uh, configuring 1 to, um, 1 to 7 like uh, I will tell you you first uh, set this TTL to 300 and now just uh, 127.0.0.3 so just uh, don't write 0 0.2 because uh, at 0 0.2 we are pointing nerdyunsub.tk and new nerdy.tk will point to 0 0.3 so click on more record and write here www and just change it to 300 and again write here 127.0.0.3 Three. So like this if you want to add another domain you can change it to 0 0.4 for another domain you can change it to 0 0.5 and you can uh, get up to um, like uh, 
125 like uh, 250 i think this is the limit and just click on save changes so you can say record edit successfully and now we have to do some configurations with our uh, xamp files so just go to your my computer and go to your installation directory where you have installed xamp so just uh, go there xamp now go to apache conf extra and if you have followed my previous video then you can see we made a new web uh, new folder that is web and just open it and this was the configuration of nerdy tk just see this so for new nerdy we will also be making uh, the same configuration but we will be uh, replacing some like nerdy and sub of nerdy and tk we will writing new nerdy dot tk so just close this so this is our code which we need i will be pasting this code in description of the video you can take this code from description of this video so first uh, the virtual host is 127.0.0.2 uh, sorry dot 3 we have to replace dot 3 and port is 84 http and currently we are not using ssl here so just uh, make this as comment if you want to see how to use ssl i will be uploading another video after this video so you can watch that So here server admin is admin at the local host document root so we have to create a new folder at c zamp st docs and we will creating a new domain that is new nerdy tk new nerdy tk and our server name is new nerdy dot tk and error logs are new nerdy tk and custom logs tk okay so that's it just control s save this file and i will tell you how to save this file properly just save this code and go to this location your xamp st docs xamp st docs ht docs and here create new folder so new nerdy tk so uh, this is the root folder of our website of our domain so we will place all our files here so just open this code again and here is the instruction save this file as file name dot c o n f so the extension of this file will not be txt it will be c o n f and include the location of this file in zamp apache in this file using include command so i will tell you how to do this first file save as just go to desktop 
and save this file from as all files and from here set new nerdy tk dot co and f so remember the extension of this file will be co and f and then just save it okay so you can see we have a new file here new nerdy tk dot co and f copy this file and paste in this location apache config extra web and just paste this file here and go to httpd vhost dot config and add it with this any text editor and just at the last type include space and location of your new nerdy tk.conf file so the location is this so this is the location just save this file so the location of this file new nerdy tk.conf so this is the proper location and now close all these files and open notepad air and just write hey this is another domain on zamp and file save as all all files types and go to desktop and type index dot ph p index dot php and save this file and select this file and copy and go to the root folder of your website so scdocs new nerdy.tk and just paste this and now <coughs> start zam control panel yes and just start apache web server and mysql service just apache web server and open your browser and type uh, new nerdy dot tk new nerdy dot tk and hopefully we will see okay firefox can establish a connection to this server new nerdy dot tk let's see if we have some problem with our configurations just config oh yeah uh, this uh, this takes like at least five minutes uh, to take change uh, effect to take changes effect <laughs> to effect changes so <coughs> we need to wait for five minutes at least just check this virtual all one to sign dot zero dot zero dot three okay port eighty new n e r d y new nerd t k new n e r d y dot t k okay just check this file
U N E R D Y T K. Or just type here one two seven dot zero dot zero dot three and press enter. Let's see if it if this is working. This is also not working. Okay. Oh, so the Apache service was not started. Oh. Just start this Apache service, and now you can see it will work. So here, this is another domain on XAMPP. So we just tried by using our local host address. Now just try writing a new nerdy dot tk, and here you can see. Hey, this is uh, another domain on XAMPP. Just try it on new tab. New nerdy dot tk and you can see hi this is another domain on them so guys this was our video on how to configure more than one uh, domain on uh, apache web server like this you can configure um, as many as domains you like and in my next video i will be telling you how you can install ssl on more than one domain like i will uh, um, <coughs> tell you how to install ssl i will uh, show you how to install ssl on the uh, on this uh, domain and you can <coughs> yeah, install uh, ssl on different domain in the similar way so if you like this video just uh, share it with your friends uh, and subscribe my youtube channel that's all thank you bye meet in meet you in next video thanks